on cash here back with another video from nba 2k14 today i'm bringing you the last four games in our regular season please excuse the voice i've been fighting a cold the last couple days starting to kind of go away but kind of hanging around with the voice a little cracky but wanted to get this video out for you today so looking at the standings this is what we are looking at here four games up on the pelicans four six so if we win our game today we will clinch our seed and we do just that we take out the Minnesota Timberwolves 90 to 71 very good game Trey goes for 42 6 and 11 wants to make sure we clinch that so we have clinched our spot in the playoffs we cannot move any higher here's the game against the Pelicans we're gonna win that one as well 88 to 68 Trey another good game for him the Pelicans just nothing going there so second to last game of the season is going to be against the Spurs, and this is the one that we are going to see a battle against the number one team in our division. Let's see if we can get a little playoff prep here, take out the San Antonio Spurs, and we're getting it going right away to start the game off. The steal there, the pass up to Trey, and Trey alley-ooping it to Chandler Parsons, a rare alley-oop. Do not throw too many of those. No one to really get them. Parsons goes up and gets that one, though. Here, Trey's going to pull down the defensive rebound, pushing it back up the floor. Going to find a wide-open James Harden in the corner, and he is going to hit that three back on defense. Now, Trey getting his hand in the way. The steal here. Harden to Trey, and he is going to slam it and gets fouled in the act. So going for the and one. Ginobili, the stupid foul there as Trey had the easy dunk. And he is going to hit that free throw. So we are up big early as the Spurs looking to get something here. Parker with the three-pointer in Trey's eye. Just absolutely brutal three there in pressure. But here almost gets the steal. Trey with the block. It falls right in his hands. Pushing it back up the floor. Going to go for the alley-oop to Marcus Camby. But we throw it a little bit too high. Getting a little hockey there and probably a little too early in the game to be throwing alley-oops but hey just trying to have some fun we are locked into our playoff spot so why not take some chances so the Spurs coming back a little bit here and here another alley-oop actually didn't even mean to do the alley-oop there just accidentally hit the button and it ooped it luckily too hard and he caught it and slammed it home looks pretty cool though so we have a five point lead we're already getting double teamed in the first quarter here we're gonna pass it out goes around to Monte Yunus, and he is gonna hit that shot so we get subbed out shortly after, so we're back in it in the second quarter. 32-24, to 24. we're pushing it up the floor to Harden. Harden's going to take it to the rack, makes the layup. So we are up 10 with a few minutes left in the first half. Ginobili going to hit a three here, bringing the lead back down to single digits. The Spurs have it again. Tony Parker coming down the floor, going to be fouled. He's going to have a couple of shots, and we are going to be subbed out here after this first free throw. Makes the first free throw. We are going to take a seat for the remainder of the first half, and we go into half leading 40-35, to 35, so a five-point lead. We're back in it here in the second half, looking to make some moves. Trey trying to break down. Tony Parker going to come at him right to the hoop. Gets the foul, and the underhand layup is good. Tack on the and one. And that is our second and one of the game. So we have a six-point lead in the third quarter. Terrence Jones going to get that assist. So Trey currently sitting at 18-5-6. and six, Maybe an outside shot at the triple-double here. Going to pick up another assist and a nice pass to Terrence Jones below the basket. Seven-point lead here in the third quarter. Tony Parker looking to keep the Spurs into it. A nice little pass back to Parker. He's got a wide-open three as we committed to support down low. We are going to intercept another pass here. Passing up to Harden. He is going to get the easy basket, pushing that lead to 10 points once again. But the Spurs still hanging around. Eight-point lead. And Trey looking to get something going here. Going to pick up a pick, which leaves us wide open on the baseline to hit that short jumper. Still sitting on the eight-point lead. Just a couple minutes left in the third quarter. Trey going straight to the basket with the dunk there. Gives us that ten-point lead once again. The shot by Ginobili here. The miss. Trey with the rebound. So seven and seven. The triple-double looking a little bit more realistic and possible. We're going to hit the wide-open three as Harden dumps it off to us. 
and they're finally going to push that lead up to 13. It's still 11, a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Posting up Tony Parker, the quick little turnaround fadeaway jumper is good. As we are now in the fourth quarter, six minutes to go. We need three more assists, two more rebounds, and we are now in full-on triple-double pursuit. We're going to make that layup there. As five and a half minutes to go, looking for some assists. We are going to dump it off to Parsons. Parsons with the jumper. Parsons hits that, so we now have eight assists, two more of each. But here we're going to pick up our own as we hit the three off the inbounds play. Can't pass up that shot if we, as we've extended the game a little bit here. Going to pick up our ninth rebound on this missed shot. Now a 12-point lead. Putting it up to Harden. Harden's going to find Terrence Jones with a nice basket there. Now a 14-point lead. Three minutes to go. Here we pick up an offensive rebound. That's going to be our 10th rebound. As we luck out there getting the last rebound we needed. So all we need is two more assists. Just three minutes to go. We're going to lose the ball here. Turnover. And the Spurs able to call the timeout before we can tie up the ball. So the Spurs back with the ball. Now a minute 19 to go. We still are looking for two more assists. And we are going to try and get one here. If we pass to Campy, he passes the back. But we're going to find Terrence Jones beneath the basket. That is assist number nine. So one more assist needed. Time is almost gone, and Marcus Camby gets it for us, hits that shot, and that is the triple-double as we get 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and we win a very low-scoring game, 79-69. signature shoes what Woo! that's what i'm talking about that's exactly what i thought you were gonna say when i saw you standing there bro hey, look, man pretty soon kids around the world gonna be wearing your shoes bro mm. this is awesome yo I, i've been waiting for this day since i was like a little youngin dude hey man look let's go celebrate my brother let's do it all right mm. that's my boy Proud right there you, man. So a little surprise after that game, we get our signature shoe finally, and this is it. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy, but I like it, so we'll see how it looks in Trey's next game. And that last game is going to be against the Pelicans, and we are going to lose that one, 83-69. We had some troubles in this one. Trey goes for 29-13, and 13, but the rest of the team just had nothing going so after that game, it goes straight to the playoffs. And in the playoffs, we have the Thunder against the Grizzlies, the Warriors against the Rockets. So we have that 4-5 matchup, the Trailblazers and the Clippers, Spurs and Pelicans on the East, Heat Pacers, Knicks Wizards, Bobcats get the three seed against the Cavaliers and the Bulls against the Celtics. So this is your playoff pitcher. We will see what we can do there. The Warriors going to be a very hard team, very good shooting team, and we can struggle on defense sometimes, and, and our offense can go really cold on occasion. So if we can't keep up with them shooting-wise, we will be in trouble. But even if we get past them, a possible second-round matchup against the Thunder, that will be very difficult. So a very hard road to the NBA Finals and a championship, but we will see what we can do. But that is going to be it for this one. You will see the first round matchup next time. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.